What is up everyone, this is Moto Charles here and today I am going to show you how to fix the Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration error that you may be facing on your Windows 10 device in 2024. So let's get right into this. So I have some notes on the side for you on basically to follow along and we're going to basically go from there. So we are going to open up the registry editor that you see over there. We're going to press yes and have it opened up. Once we're in here, we're going to basically scroll a little bit to the left, close everything out if you just in case had everything open. And we're just going to put this on the side as well so we can see both of these things right next to each other. So open this. So we're going to open up the first thing called H key local machine that you see over here. The next thing is called system. So we're going to close this out. We're going to open up system. The next thing is called uh, current control set. The next thing is called control. And the next thing is called NSI. So where's NSI? press you can press the letter and then you will get there so nsi and in here you'll see a bunch of these little things but it's fine you only want to open the first one once you're in here you as i said over here and you want to open up the, well you don't need to open this up you want to right click into this and you want to click into something called permissions you want to allow full control here and then basically press apply and go okay that's once you're done with this we can close this out and be good to go then we're going to go to the search bar over here and we're going to write CMD and we're going to open it as administrator. Be careful because you have to do it as administrator. OK, then you can basically either. Well, you have I'll copy paste this as well in the uh, description so you can just copy paste if you want to. But you want to do basically what I'm doing here. Uh, Where is this one? OK, reset log txt. And voila, once we're done, you're going to restart the computer, you're going to be good to go, and you should not have that error persist any longer. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. More than you guys up. 